Hello everyone. This is Study Ranker. For asking your doubts, you can visit us at studyrankersonline.com. You can also take test online at studyrankerstest.com. So, today we are going to deal with concepts of reflection of light. First, let us revise some basic concepts about light. Most of them you might have studied in earlier classes. Light is a form of energy. which provides us a sensation of vision objects around us is divided into three categories in context of light transparent allows light to pass through them example air water glass translucent partially allows light to pass through them example filter papers opaque light does not pass through them at all example books tables etc wavelength of visible light is 400 nanometer to 700 nanometer we can see any objects only if the light rays reflected from it strikes our eyes light travels in a straight line in a given medium of its propagation this is known as rectilinear property of light speed of light in air is about 3 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second now coming to reflection of light reflection is a phenomena of bouncing back of light rays after they strike any surface Due to this reflection of light we can see things around us reflection of light is governed by two laws of reflection coming to the laws of reflection first law the angle of incidence is equal to angle of reflection second law the incident ray the normal and the reflected ray all lies in the same plane as you can see from this diagram angle of reflection is angle between normal and reflected ray normal is perpendicular to the surface this is the case of reflection for plane surface the laws of reflection is applicable for any surface let us see an example of curved surface reflection curved reflecting surfaces are assumed to be obtained from any sphere for a curved surface normal will be a radial line a radial line is the line passing through center of the circle the tangent will be considered as reflecting surface the laws of reflection is applied accordingly as you can see from this figure irregular surfaces reflection you can see the pattern of reflection of light rays in the diagram for both regular and irregular surfaces so reflection at any surface anywhere is governed by laws of reflection coming to the image formation an image of an object is formed if rays of light coming from object converges at some other place there are two type of images real image and virtual image real image is formed by intersection of real light rays it can be obtained on screen generally real images are inverted coming to virtual images virtual images are formed by virtual intersection of light they cannot be obtained on screen and generally they are erect here you can see example of reflection by a plane mirror from this image it is clear that how rays of light virtually intersects in this figure broken line indicates virtual rays These are the rays which appears to be coming from some point but is not actual rays they are. I don't have to say that image form here is a virtual image. Now let us revise some features of image formation by a plane mirror. The image formed is as same size of object it is a virtual image it is laterally inverted and the image formed inside the mirror is at the equal distance as the object is in front of the mirror. Now we are going to deal with spherical mirrors. The spherical mirror mirrors are mirrors having a spherical reflecting surface. They have been carved out of any sphere that is it is part of a big sphere. We can see such mirrors are very common in our day to day life. Example teaspoon, rear view mirror of cars and the uh, scale view instruments used by dentist. You might have seen that. The spherical mirrors are divided into two categories concave mirror and convex mirror. Let us discuss some terms related to spherical mirrors coming to a concave mirror you can see the diagram here center of curvature it is the center of the sphere of which the mirror is part of radius of curvature the radius of the sphere of the mirror is part of principal axis the line joining midpoint of the mirror and center of curvature focus any ray of light passing parallel to principal axis is reflected and passes through a point on principal axis this point is focus in other words we can say that parallel rays of light parallel to principal axis converges at focus 
any incident ray passing through focus reflects parallel to the principal axis focal length focal length is distance between focus and midpoint of the mirror now let us consider another mirror convex mirror these terms are more or less same as concave except few the focus for convex mirror is the point from which the ray of light parallel to principal axis appears to coming from as it can be seen that center of curvature and focal length all lies behind the mirror now you can see image formation by concave mirror at different positions of objects it will be better if you can relate such reflections of light with the earlier discussed reflection of curved surface and carefully observe how rays of light is reflecting and how image is formed in various cases have a look at this you can observe from the ray of diagrams and the table that how and where the images are formed at various positions of object now image formation by a convex mirror in all cases image formed is virtual diminished and between pole and focus and behind the mirror as you can see from this image now sign conventions for spherical mirrors this has been done to understand the position of object and its image with respect to given spherical mirror the object is always placed to the left of the mirror this implies that light from from the object falls on the mirror from left hand side the left hand side of mirror is negative that is object is always at negative distance from mirror the left is negative x axis and behind the mirror is positive x axis the center of mirror is considered as origin the sign above principal axis is positive y axis and below is negative y axis it is similar to the cartesian coordinate system that we have studied in mathematics for better view of sign convention you can go through this image mirror formula it is a relation between image distance u object distance b and focal length f you can see 1 by f equal to 1 by u plus 1 by v also magnification made by mirror is given by minus v by u all distances are measured with respect to pole of mirror and considering sign conventions you can easily understand that object distance is always negative as object is always in front of mirror coming to some of the use of spherical mirrors in our day to day life concave mirror uses it is used in torch the light source is kept at focus and hence parallel beam of light is observed second it forms enlarged images so it is used as mirror for saving purpose it is also used for dentist so that they can get enlarged view of any cavity on tooth coming to use of convex mirror it is used as rear view mirror in vehicles so that you can get a better view of any cars bikes coming from back that can be observed properly and clearly thank you guys if you like the video please comment like share and subscribe